Hey, this is Harold Vaughn here, and I'm really excited about this concept of praying, the biblical protocols for prayer. In the Word of God, we have so many black and white mandates about how we're to approach the Lord when it comes to prayer. So we put together this little book called Approaching God's Throne, Biblical Protocols for Prayer. Now, to go along with 10 of these chapters, we have produced videos. Now, these videos are available, the preview videos are available on our Christ Life Ministries Media YouTube account. That's Christ Life Ministries Media YouTube account. You can look at the gratitude protocol, uh, the praise protocol, the faith protocol, the pro uh, cleansing protocol, and the introduction that explains it a little further. But they're all about 8 to 12 minutes in length, very, very brief, and they are very good for small groups. Sunday school, Sunday morning, Sunday night, Wednesday night, prayer meetings, and church services. We need to develop a culture of prayer in the North American church. Jesus said, my father's house shall be called a house of prayer. Jesus' central desire for his church, it be a house of prayer. Jesus' central definition of his church, that it be a house of prayer. So we put together these videos and put together this book right here. On, and in the book, there's 18 uh, biblical protocols for prayer to help us to know how to approach Almighty God. Now, these are doable. They're street level. Anybody can do them. And these, I believe, and especially in these times, uh, could be a valuable asset in instructing our congregations to pray together corporately. So I would encourage you to go to the YouTube channel, Christ Life Ministries Media channel, Christ Life Ministries Media channel, and preview these videos on biblical protocols. And then you can find information on how to secure the rest of the videos as well as the book. Hey, God bless you. Let's uh, call out to the Lord in these days. And, and let's believe God for divine interventions and a reviving of his work and his people.